Hello everybody, I am Ann Robinson. Welcome to my channel where it is awesome to be Ann. And it is awesome to be you. And I am coming back on again today because I am preparing a hearty potato meal. That is the only way that I can think of putting it. So let me just start off by first of all, showing you what I'm going to be using in this meal. Of course, you can't have a hearty potato a meal without what? Potatoes. <laughs> so let me show you what I got going on. I got these here potatoes from the Russet Potato from Food Line. Yeah, they were on sale for $2.50. So yeah, I had to hone in on that one. So yeah, here is my potato. Isn't that a beautiful, oh yes, potato. And um, I'm going to be peeling these up. I'm going to be meal prepping right now for the most part. And of course, I love, love, love onions. So this wonderful onion, I'm going to use probably the entire thing. I love onions. This will be in my meal. I'm going to chop it up. Yes, I am. Then I have my wonderful baby bello mushrooms from monterey and i can't wait to use these and i just must share with you that there was a time that i could not stand mushrooms the aftertaste was just too much but i tell you it has been an acquired taste and i use these most part for the meat of my meal so mushrooms have become a meaty choice uh for my meatless uh, meals. Yes. So yes, I'm going to be putting these wonderful mushrooms in there. Now, I love to season up uh, my uh, mushrooms. And um, I'm going to be using other seasonings, but I thought I'd share this because Goya is the business, okay? I um, use this, and I know this has a little porky piggy on the front, but let me tell you how this, uh, this works. It's ham flavoring. It's not actual you know ham it's a ham flavored flavoring at least i think that's i have to read this and get more in details ham flavoring so i don't have to go and buy the big old slab of ham to put in there to add flavoring to uh any of my dishes including my collards my green any other type of greens turnip greens or whatever i might want to have that ham hammy taste i use this instead Okay, so this makes a great option. I know that I'm showing you the Spanish side, but let's flip it over. Goya. Yes, ham flavored. Yeah, I use that. And the little packs are, you know, rather small. But, um, yeah, here it is. Yeah. So it says that this is good for beans. Yes, my pintos. Yeah. Good for pinto beans. Yes, it is. Soups, stews, rice dishes, scrambled eggs, vegetables. Haven't tried it in scrambled eggs, but okay. All right. Isn't that wonderful? The next thing, I'm trying something new since I'm eating so many, so many vegetables now. Um, is this salad and vegetable uh, seasoning by Goya. So I'm excited about using that and I will definitely be adding that to my potatoes to give them some seasoning and my onion. And uh, the, fin the finale, the finale is um, my Campbell's 98% fat-free cream of mushroom soup. So this will give me, um, yeah, my creamy consistency to my meal. And this is going to be the what my uh, hearty potato meal consists of. And I can't wait to go ahead and get that done. So um, hold that thought and I will be back with you. I'm going to cut up and do what I need to do to these items. Okay. Okay. All right. Hold that thought. I really, really uh, like um, my potatoes because this here is going to make for a very filling meal. So, and I keep the skin on my potatoes. I don't know how um, all of you do, but I really like to keep the skin on there. It's real good and fibrous. Yes, it is. And, um, and I'm just taking and dicing it up a little bit. And, uh, yeah, and I want to keep them as chunky as I possibly can. I'm just tossing them in a bowl as I do this. 
And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this dinner. Um, I try very hard. Like I, I've been minimizing my um, meat intake and it hasn't been hard to do at all. And um, yeah, I just it's been rather fun. I'm enjoying my new health and fitness journey. I'll call it. And, I, and not just for today. I'm hoping to make, you know, good habits that will last me for a lifetime. That is what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do is continue to uh, dice up the rest of these potatoes and um, and then I'll be back. OK, I'm going to uh, pause this just for a sec. Okay, so I am back and I am back, gotten my onion out that I'm getting ready to dice up. And of course, I have all of the potatoes that I have inside the bowl all cut up and ready to go. And uh, yeah, so now I'm going to cut up this onion. Let me see how much this yields me. And maybe I won't have to use all of it. But like I said, I love onions and I really love onions. I actually could just eat onions with, um, with rice stew them up cook them up and season them and put them over the top of some rice oh my goodness so here we go there cutting it right on up and we're going to drop them over here in the bowl with the potatoes yes and uh yeah Okay, I think um, that's a good bit, though. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good bit. I think I just may do like another little half because, honey, I'm looking to eat. Do you hear me? I want it to be good and hearty. Chunky, yes. All right, so my onions are in there. I don't think I need to use all of that. So I will get a Ziploc bag and lock it up in there. And we're going to throw this in the trash. All right, the next thing that I got is, of course, my uh, mushrooms that I'm getting ready to take out of the pack. And what I'll do is put those on top of there as, you know, in my little um, thing because they're going to all be stirred together. Well, I may just put these back. I don't want the mushrooms to get too, um, what do you call that, uh, too um, overcooked while I'm stewing up the potatoes and the onions and seasoning those up. So I think I'll do these separate. But here I'm just going to dice these in half a little bit. I might dice them a little bit more. But like I said, this is a hearty, this is a chunky a meal. Yes, it is. And I want it to be very chunky. I want it to be very filling. Yes, I do. I have a, my friend guy, he is a non-believer and he is a carnivore. So most of the week I go without, um, basically all week I go without eating any meat whatsoever. And um, I may allow one or two days out of the weekend to have something like some chicken or fish to go with it, um, just to give myself a treat for the weekend. But I'm really aiming for completely just being off of meat, you know, um, and I'm trying to be completely off of the swine. <laughs> that is something that I'm, I'm choosing to stray, stay away from. And um, anything else such as um, shrimp or anything else that might not be one of the um, kosher uh, type meats to eat. So, yeah, I'm trying to ease up and eat better. So, yeah. So I'm really wanting to just eliminate meat out of my diet, period. But um, that, like I said, I'm weaning myself and um, I feel good about what I'm doing so far. Anything that you do, you got to feel good about it, okay? And um, do what's right for you. All right. And yeah, that is um, here. And here is my chop up. Let me get these other ones. Of course, isn't that a beautiful um, mushroom? Yes, it is. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is um, put these here. They're going to be really meaty in there. Um, maybe chop it up just a little bit more and put those inside the container. And guess what? When I come back, I'm going to start putting them back in here. I think that's what I'll do. Let me tear off the stems. And, um, yeah, that's going to make for a very meaty meal. And I can't wait to season these up. I might just have a stem separate. 
It's like I said, I want it to be full of mushrooms and a full of potatoes and full of onions. Okay, so let me go ahead and throw all of these in there. And when I come back, I will have my pan getting hot to begin the process of seasoning these up. Okay, all right, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, everybody, I am back. And guess what? I now have my uh, potatoes inside the pan. Yes, I do. Along with the onions. And then I have my my mushrooms on here heating up. And um, let me um, share the seasoning. So I'm going to put you guys right here hoping that you can still see me. This has been really a great um, a great um really a great way to display everything so here you go um, I use these other seasonings um, along with the Goya seasonings which is my um, garlic powder and I have a little garlic and pepper this brand is Blazing Blends which I got from Aldi's and then of course I got me some pepper and actually I thought that looked so similar I really need um some onion powder. I don't know where my onion powder is. I must be out of my onion powder. I'm going to have to get me some more, but I've got onions in the meal, so that doesn't even, um, that's not going to hurt anything. So I will come back when I have put everything together for you, okay? Okay, and I am back, and I have finally combined the mushroom in there with the potatoes. And I'm getting ready to pour in my um, cream of mushroom soup. And uh, once I get all of that kind of stirred up together, I'll be back. Just in case okay. anyone's wondering, I actually used some garlic, uh, not garlic, but um, olive oil to, um, you know, brown my onions and my and my um, potatoes. And I used um, my garlic, um, not garlic, why do I keep saying garlic? Um, olive oil, um, you know, non-sticking spray to um, stir and heat up and cook my um my mushrooms. I have combined everything together and everything is boiling rather greatly in this here pan. And uh, yeah, it's going along good. And what I'm going to do is cover it up and let it simmer. And I think um, to go with it, I have a little bit of garlic bread left. So I think what I'm going to do is have some um, garlic um, to Texas toast with that so yeah I think that's gonna make for a great meal yes I do and um, I'm gonna come back on for a uh, taste test of yes my meal after it's cooked for just a bit okay alrighty alright <laughs> so everybody my garlic bread is in the oven um, and uh, I had some cabbage on that I had um, that doesn't need to go to waste that I guess that I'm going to add to the side of my dish. But I'm going to go ahead and do my test test and yeah, and be done with this here video. So let me just get the spoon here into that, my little pot. I'm just going to do like a little, a little taste. I um, know that my potatoes need some time to cook, but um, I'm going to try out my dish. Yes, I am. I hope I have some onion in there, too. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and see how this tastes. Okay. So, here is my spoon with all of the good stuff on it. Oh. That tastes really, really good. And very, very hearty. <laughs> Okay, well that will do it. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you where? 
in my next video. Peace and blessings. Woo! Until next time.